Hey YouTubers, welcome to Rosh Michelle's channel. Once again, I am back with the initial video that I was supposed to do in the first place, which was um, we're going to talk about effective communication and uh, communication to avoid arguments. Um, of course, we know sometimes we may forget to use these methods or it may be a learning process to use these methods. I'm struggling with some of these methods in um, effective communication, but um, this is a journey we're going to go through together. So I'm going to go over some key points of effective communication and, um, you know, some things that might be helpful to you, friendships, relationships, co-workers, um, church members, whatever, you know, whatever situation entails communication. So. One thing the experts recommend is stick to the point. Um, basically, I guess they mean don't go into multiple things that are bothering you or issues or whatever. So stick to the point. That's something that they recommend. Think about what the outcome is that you want after you guys have communicated. Uh, basically, did the issue get resolved? Did you get the expectations that you were expecting? Um, things of that nature. Um, is everybody agreeing to disagree? So on and so forth. Okay. Be respectful in communicating. This is a hard one. <laughs> um, if you're in the heat of anger and everybody wants to get their point across, being respectful, that's going to take a lot of tolerance and discipline. And let me tell you, believe you me, that's going to take a lot. But... They recommend you be respectful as possible. Um, how to communicate effectively during an argument. Avoid bringing up the past. Boy, I know people that have done this. <laughs> not finger pointing, because that's something you're not really supposed to be doing. But a lot of people do. They like to go off into what you did in 1991 and it's 2021 you probably don't even remember what what you guys were arguing over and they like to go back into your preschool what you, you took the peanut butter sandwich from them at lunch at recess or whatever they want to go into <laughs> they want to go all the way back you're not even the same person you probably don't even live in that area anymore and they want to go just you know go bring up everything you know or that fight we had last summer at the movie theater you're like what really bro <laughs> so <laughs> That's what they um, recommend. Use positive words if possible. Timing. Let's talk about timing. Wait for the right time to bring up the issue or the thing that's bothering you. Bring up the right time. So, yeah, that is very important, especially for me personally, because if someone is upset or you guys just got through arguing or an event happened prior to the argue, argument, sometimes bringing it up right then and there may not be the best idea. So that's one thing. Avoid invalidation. So you need to value the other person's feelings, maybe even if you don't agree with them or kind of try to think and look at it from their point of view which is something I probably need to do more myself. <laughs> Choose your words. Ooh, this is a hard one. <laughs> it's going to take discipline and tolerance for me and a lot of you will probably try to think about your words and choose your words. Because sometimes in the heat of anger, we don't care. We just, you know, we're zero to a hundred. We turned up. We don't care. We, we're not trying to hear nothing. We just, we're just trying to validate our feelings. So, so that's what it is. Let's see. Be prepared to compromise. If you guys cannot agree to disagree, be prepared to come to some kind of compromise where you both meet mid ground. So be prepared for that. I think that is some excellent advice. So this is my video on effective communication and how to avoid arguments. It Hopefully it will work. Or even if you do get in an argument, maybe it won't be so bad or you guys are able to resolve it. I hope this information can be useful. 
I need to apply it more in my life. It's something that's very difficult to do sometimes, but um, hopefully we're, we're on this journey together and we will get through this. So this is Rosh Michelle 2's channel. I have Rosh Michelle 1, but 2 is the one you guys want to tune in to. And tune in to my podcast on Anchor, Spotify, Radio Breaker, Google. It's on another platform. I can't remember them all. <laughs> Let's see, Anchor, Spotify, Radio, Breaker, Podcast, Pocket Cast, okay, and one of them, mostly Anchor and Spotify, but you can find me on some other platforms too, so that's my Poetry Spoken Word Podcast, thank you once again for tuning in, God bless you guys, you have a good day or evening, and I'm out, peace, this is Rosh Michelle, don't forget to like or subscribe, y'all.